Greetings guys, this is Dogcraft and today I'm showing you a replay in the T54 Mod 1. I actually didn't have that much time this weekend to record a video, but as I didn't upload a video last week, I didn't want to leave you guys in the dust, so I tried to fit this one in. And as you can see, I'm driving the T54 Mod 1 with Boombox together in the platoon. We will see how this goes. We're on a very good matchup in a very good map for this tank. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys what's going on pretty much. So this is the last week before another week of holidays <laughs> is approaching. So I will be having another week of holidays after this one last week of school. I will be playing World of Tanks a lot as I want to try to... Yeah, probably I want to try to get the Centurion Action X. So I'm just going to try to grind the Centurion Action X. I have got the Comet at the moment. And I want to see if I can make it towards the Centurion Action 10 before uh, the weeks afterwards. Because the week after my holiday week, there is the mission for the FV4202P. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys have heard about it. Uh, normally I wouldn't be able to do these kind of missions. But as I have um, yeah, an event for school that I have to help him with, that means that I will be able to play World of Tanks in the evenings every day. So, Okay, <laughs> what the fuck, that was weird, anyway guys, I was just recording this video, and then all of a sudden, uh, yeah, my cat <laughs> vomited in my instant, <laughs> so I'll start this off in another way, my cat uh, normally always lies in my bed, because she thinks it's really relaxing in there, and just out of nowhere, she just vomited in my bed, oh god. Oh well, that happens. My mom already told me this morning that my cat wasn't feeling that well and she had vomited once before today. So, it was just a matter of time before she would vomit again. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't really matter. So, well, let's just continue the video. <laughs> I think this is pretty funny, so I'm just going to leave it in the video, I think. <laughs> okay, it's okay. So, as you can see, we are fighting very aggressively here on the side of the town. Because I know that this tank is capable of doing some amazing things, especially in this matchup. That tank can never penetrate me. He didn't. I decided to repair my tracks just to make sure that I can get put another shot into him. Because taking down that tank destroyer will be really good for us as a platoon. Because even if that tank manages to flank us, we are in a lot of trouble. Anyway, so now I'm thinking, okay, there's not many tanks spotted on the right. So I'm just going to advance there and see if we can progress through the enemy in that way. But the Cromwell gets spotted. Let's see if we can put a shot at him. I have to aim for a very long time before I manage to put a shot in. There we go. KB3 there. Yeah. He's got the 107 millimeter. That's not going to do him very good. He has no chance of penetrating me whatsoever if I angle my tank well. So this is pretty sad for him. And then I know this, and you can see Boombox. I told, <laughs> I told Boombox, come on, Boombox. Uh, that guy can never penetrate us. Go, and just stand next to him and see if we can put some shots into him. Yeah, spaced armor of the IS-3 on this side. Yeah, well. I always try to aim below the spaced armor bar on the side of the IS-3, but sometimes still your shot goes uh, yeah, high for where you aim it and it lands on the precise place where you don't want it to go. Anyway, Boombox is doing some really good work here. He told me perhaps the SU or the T-34 wants to try and flank us, so he is yeah, he went back towards the other alleyway to try and ambush somebody. And I went around the corner and I didn't see this T-34 coming, but now I, I committed. I can't go anywhere else, so I have to take this guy down. <laughs> because there's no way of escaping this. I have to fight this guy. 
Now I can see that he's coming towards me and that I will be close to by the wall. So what I do, I turn in my tracks. And that's his last fight of this battle. <laughs> there you go. He is down, guys. If I didn't turn in my tracks there, he would have probably put another shot into me. Which would have been really bad for me. So that was the right play to do there. KV2 and a T34. Let's try to side scrape these guys out. Not that I need to, but it's always safer to go around corners side scraped. You want to give the enemies the least chance of being able to penetrate you. And now I am actually making a bit of a thick move here. I didn't mean to block the Yak Panther too, but I thought he was going to commit because he was already in that anyway. There was no way they was going to be able to turn uh, back around the corner. So I, I thought, oh, he's going to go, then I'm going to do it, then I'm going to support him, but that didn't happen. So right now, Boombox is on 3 kills, I'm on 2 kills, I'm on almost 4k damage, and I want to pick up the Brothers and Arms medal for us. So what I do, I load some premium shells, just to make sure that I can go through the front of the T-34. T-34's got some really good armor on this front, so I won't be able to penetrate this reliably with average standard shells. So I'm just going to take him out here, luckily I managed to get the kill. So, really nice game. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. Please don't ask me why I didn't make screenshots of this game. But anyway, let's continue. We've got a very, very good amount of experience. 1,400. As this wasn't my daily double. So, really good amount. An ace tanker. As well as a few tokens. As well as the Brothers in Arms, the Confederate and a High Caliber medal. And as well as earning a lot of credits. And this wasn't on a premium account. But anyway, let's first take a look at the team score as you can see. Boombox and me are on top. As you can see, we both got a crap load of medals and tokens. With some very good uh, medals by Boombox as well. Anyway, fight a lot of shots as you can see. Yeah. The accuracy didn't do us very well this game and we got a pretty alright amount of spotting especially for a very short game that this was this was only a 5 minute and 34 second game and I still managed to get a lot of damage done so I'm really happy about that so guys this was by far the weirdest episode I have ever recorded please leave a like if you still enjoyed it though Next week I will be back, hopefully making a lot of content for you as I will be having holidays. I'll try to stream as much as I can and I will finally try to make another tank review for you guys because those are the kind of videos that you really like on my channel. That's all for this week. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.